Okay, this is actually from a team. So that's actually interesting, right guys? This is Seren, Seren Nise from on Twitter. Um, hello. This is the question, by the way. I'm just not, not missing hello. Hello, we are in SEA Intimate main team. The question is, how can we improve the side on Nuke? And how can we improve our outside defense since the opponent put a lot of pressure on the outside and we struggle there? Map is Nuke and team player Thunderflash Seren. So let's try to load up the demo. Lobby push, clever. Mm -hmm. Feels good to help a team actually. Maybe they will beat me one day. Okay, denying that. What's that Molotov for though? Mm -hmm. I think this is a very dangerous cross, I would say, but he gets away with it. Doing this smoke all the time. Flashbang. Good setup. Has the one way. So far, so good this team, I would say. They have some set protocols you can see, right? He takes a shot, he does the one way, but then he dies. Should be aware of that. That's important kill that the TX gets there. What's the thing about Siren has a flash here, right? So they can play off each other, he could flash for his teammate, so they have it full safe. He has a one way, they cannot go down secret. So this, this question is about how we control the T's outs, how we pressure them, right? Because you don't want to give them secret too often. So they're playing a classic setup with two guys A, having one guy main and an orb outside. So I'm thinking here, right? I have a good idea what they could have done better. Are the tea smoking from teaspoon? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I am uh, starting getting some ideas how I can call them. Sorry, I'm a little quiet here. I'm just trying to go through this half fast so we can get going to see. To begin with, I think what they do with the, the smoke is pretty good. It's classic smoke. Not this smoke, but you know what I mean. Come here, you smoke the t red creates the T's that you can actually have one way here. You can also play in the smoke, you can play right side, you can get close without them seeing you. So I think you're doing that every round is pretty good. That's pretty default. So what I think is the most important thing, you had a setup where the orb was doing exactly this part, right? And he went over here and you went down secret or the Syrian uh, one guy went down secret. But what you lack in this scenario is that the most important thing that you have, why you have one guy going straight down secret from ramp is that you deny it out as fast as possible, right? Because you want to be here as CT before they're here on the stairs. Does that make sense? Because then what you should do is that you come here as an orb and you then Molotov right there. So you deny the fast smoke from T-spawn. Then you create an, a gap for the orb and the orb can do those nades and play here and he has a gap in the smokes here. How it's going to look like if they're doing the classic smokes, it's going to look approximately like this. There's going to be a huge gap, and from this scenario, you can hold it. And the second your team is in secret, you just need to focus on this arrow. You can bait for him, and you're always fast to come A, or you're always fast to go ramp. So what you want to be in this position with Orb is that you always have time to go really fast up catwalk, help A if they execute on A, and if they come ramp, you can catch one guy as they're jumping down ramp, right? So, I think that's the most important thing, is that when you do that setup and you run down straight secret, that you deny the fast smokes outside. That should be priority one. Um, and then you create a gap here for yourself, like I said, and if nothing, the second to do the smokes, then, okay, let's say your teammate is down on the stairs here, and they're doing late smokes, not early smokes, then he can do this flash for them, you know, for secret. Make sure it's far enough, this is a little too short, maybe. Um, but that should be possible to find a flash like that. Especially when there's a smoke. And then the, with the flash, your teammate from secret can peek with the flash and he should get into kill. You know? So he's up here. 
And if they're doing uh, motor top, he can call the flash, deny and run up and peek. You know, there's still smokes here. Like I said, they're doing a very late round. If there's no gap, because they didn't do it early, you know. So in that scenario, you create a, like a crossfire and you can help each other and you can always both get away. You're still really good rotation to ramp and inside. Um, be aware that you need to kind of hold main maybe here. So you need to be in position here to hold. So they can't drop main unless they drop down from main roof because then you can't really do anything about it. Okay, so that's really important. Um, when it comes to play aggressive, I think you could have played more aggressive outside as a team. So what you did here, where you went alone, if you have an orb in this scenario, right, it would make a huge difference. First of all, he can hold up here for you, right? He's holding silo. And in case uh, you say, okay, they're behind T-Red, he can hold behind T-Red for your list side. The only main force you need to have is they're coming close here at a jumping main roof. But you need one guy with you because this scenario when you're playing aggressive outside, you want to have your kind of main focus there. Um, and then you just make sure that the ram guy is playing it safe and he can drop down when it comes to that. Um, so this guy um, who's in garage has time to go all the way back. Or what he also can do for you, of course, is maybe just putting a flash like this. Sounds pretty random, but I think it can be good um, to put a flash like that and you can peek from here, you know. So you get a flash behind T-Red and you, when the smoke fades here, you clear this angle, nobody silo, you peek with a flash and they are full blind in this area. So yeah, more aggressive out here. Um, another aggressive setup you can have where you really want to commit is that you actually three guys outside. So you have one guy going close here and you can have one guy going all behind T-Red. Right? So you go here and then you have one guy in main who is motorcycling door the one guy in heaven who is molotoving uh, hot. So it sounds like you two guys inside. And this guy can hold a flash. Then he can flash behind T-Red. Like this. So this guy is not blind, you know. If you fix it more to the left. So he just comes here, hold a flash. Above here. So after this this orb is getting contact. He's shooting. Now he gets a flash. And with the flash, he can re-pick. And the good part about that flash would be that this guy is not blind from the flash. So he doesn't have to dodge it. Does that make sense? Yes, it's going to be on YouTube at some point during the Christmas and New Year's. Um, I think this uh, position you're playing here is really good. Um, to hold this angle, it's hard to flash this guy. Um, so you have a wrong cat. What you could do is just having like this, you know. So you spot the gap, so you get the info. Uh, but you still have the cross uh, cross replacement if they come in garage. Does that make sense? So you don't shoot at this gap. If you rock spider, you know, okay, one around cat. You wait a little. You still have time until he walks the whole way. Or you can give it out for information that one guy is going the blue box, you know? Um, the question you had where you went down here is also really good. The one way, I think, again, your teammate is doing the one way. Then he should call a flash because you were playing behind blue here. Then you should flash above like that, so you can peek with the one way, so they're full blind. Because he died before, there was a gap in the one way, because you have to create a gap. And the one way is pretty easy, it's just like, things like this people are doing, right? I'm never here, so I don't know. There's many YouTube videos with this one way. Yeah, there's also this scenario, is that like, if, they, if they're getting down secret, so yeah. Theory behind this whole thing, to begin with, is that the CG side meta right now is harassment of the T's game plan on how they smokes. So I think we were one of the first guys to kind of abuse that in, in a sense that we had one guy spotting here, right? This sounds really stupid um, in theory. And one guy just sort of ping like this. He would see the smokes fly like uh, late round. This is late round, right? So in early round, like you're denying. One, um, so this first guy uh, who's going in garage is denying. So he comes here, he denies, and he goes to the garage, he may be doing the smoke that we talked about. And then, what he wants to do is just show the peak here. Um, then he could have an orb. And this sounds very boring for the orb, but right? He's just uh, holding like this. The second he says molo, he molos. Because he will see the smoke fly, you know, like people doing these smokes from like really high, whatever. You know, you can see him so long time that you have time to deny the smoke here. Does that make sense? So I have an orb here holding, like this. If they go behind T-Red, 
The second he hears um, smoke or mullo, he mullos and he creates a gap we talked about before. The mullo comes here, there's a gap, and the orb has delicious situation, you know? Boom. That's one way to do it, and I think that's a pretty good setup to have. Uh, in case that the enemies are always playing very slow and then they do the smoke slate outside um, So it's all about reading the game when you think the T's are saying okay We take fast secret or we play slow pressure a and then we go back to to do smokes outside So what I'm focused on here right now is basically the outside perspective There's many more things about the ramp and the and the door, but I'm trying to focus on the question here That's another way where you can stop outside um, Everybody have seen the elbow smokes they call as the casters. You can deny these as well. In basically the same scenario. Um, first of all, I think you can deny it like this on the main roof. I don't know how people throw the Molotov, I'm never denying it. But now I did. So you throw this Molotov. If you're doing these smokes fast, you just throw this Molotov and you are um, seeing the smoke landing here and you created a gap. This smoke is missing and only this smoke is here. Again, Mwah, delicious for the robot, you know? Mamma mia, he, lo he will love this scenario. That's one way, if you if you don't think they're doing what we call the secret smokes, whatever you want to call it, or they're doing the elbow smokes, you can deny the first one instant. Again, you can play the... You can kind of do the same thing. Later on, if they do the later on, again, he can just hold here with an orb. Or he can just stand like this, shoulder peek it. And then when the mo uh, smoke comes, he can molo. Again, the timing should be on point if the case is really clean about it. Yes, the garage guy needs to pay attention and shoulder peek and say go. You know, like the first thing he doesn't say, he can say whatever smokes is coming. Um, but I think this is a really good way to do it. Um, playing an aggressive setup we went through. We, we talked about the secret. Uh, we talked about when, when you have one guy running from ramp to a tier, what he can do. Uh, I think what you did down here, uh, our friend did pretty good with smoke here, whatever how he wants to smoke it, and then hold the smoke to jump through it. It's also really good. They just do the basic things, right? Molotov here, drop down, be ready if they rush. You're playing two guys inside, uh, the other guy's Molotoving hot. You can also drop side or drop top hot, whatever, and then they can focus on whatever happening here, right? Um, so yeah, the meter is playing kind of one and a half. One and a half guys outside that the other guy is all the time supporting with an orb. Or obviously he goes for the peak where he goes behind T-Red with the smoke I showed before. Close here, you know. Um, yeah. What else grenades you can do is like if you know the T's love to like rush really fast here. Double nades is obviously really good. There is some nade. Uh, this is what we call when you want to nade close. So you know some people they're running here, you know. They're running this way not to get HG. So you run right into it. So you just come here and you throw it like that. Or else you can do the classic one. That bounces here. That's pretty normal, you know. But uh, pro teams more likely. And we know that from demo. What, which way they like to do if they're going fast. The squeaky Molotov. You just come here. And you aim next to this one while running. So if they open door. I'll show you now how the Molotov... Did I open door? I didn't. So, what you want your Molotov to do is basically doing this. See, it goes inside door. So that means if the T's are smoking here, your Molotov is still burning. Does that make sense? So the T's can come out here, uh, burning a little. But that's where you need to have one main, main guy as well sometimes. Um, if, you f if they like to drop down vents, he comes here, he smokes. Molotov to deny outside, he comes here and he spams this. He spams like this. So if the drop fast down vents, uh, he's dead. Watch out you don't spam too much so the T's can spam you back, you know? You wanna have the spam angle too when he when he drops down vents. Like something like this. So that's how you count if they drop down vents fast. I think that was enough about the outside things, what you can do.